Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over how to slow down or shut down aggressive catches in Madden 23. The meta is disgusting right now, and it's literally just aggressive catches. If you guys don't know how to aggressive catch, there is a I did post a video on aggressive catching. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. You're just simply kind of waiting for the cornerback to pretty much turn his hips towards that towards the receiver and then you're pretty much going to just pass lead with a quarterback with set feet lead and you're just going to go for the aggressive catch over and over and over again pretty much and you're going to eventually come down with it one out of four times pretty much and that's kind of why it's such an it's kind of it's such a such a tough meta to go against because it's it's very annoying it's extremely extremely annoying now in this video we're going to go over how to slow it down and i'm i'm not going to i'm going to be honest i'm not the greatest aggressive catcher so this is so these these examples aren't going to be too crazy for me specifically because i'm just not i'm i'm not him when it comes to aggressive catches but this is one of the situations you know you'll you'll eventually come down with one of these passes um and your opponent automatically has to pretty much just he immediately has to account for excuse me you have to account for your opponent aggressive catching and it's very very difficult now before i do get into it if you guys do me the favor you, you guys already know the vibes man fta drop your favorite emoji whatever the case may be uh down in the comment section it helps push these videos out to more and more people that are struggling with stopping certain things and this video is definitely something that i feel might be a little bit needed so first things first you might you might have noticed you might have not notice that this is not a player that is on the bills this is marlon humphrey from the uh from the ravens and i have him on the field for one specific reason the ability that he has and that's that's exactly what we're talking about today madden is a an ability based game and in this game if you guys are trying to stop aggressive catches this is going to be the one main focus for you guys to be able to do such a thing now in Madden, there are two abilities that are, that are going to help extremely, extremely well. And that is the deep zone KO and the deep route KO. Oh, that was wrong. That was the wrong button right there. And the deep route KO. And my alarm's going off. Um, the deep route KO is for man coverage and the deep out zone KO is for zone coverage. Now, if you guys are running zone, if you primarily run zone, I would suggest that you guys include or put deep out zone KO on one on your cornerbacks to kind of help, you know, kind of help defeat the aggressive catch meta. In this video, we're gonna we're gonna kind of showcase exactly what you guys can do to help yourselves out. Now, one of the main reasons why this is a meta in general, and I'm gonna go ahead and press the entire defense, is because people are pressing in cover zero, hoping that their blitzes get home. But when that happens, People are sitting there and they're trying to aggressive catch you wherever they possibly can. It doesn't matter where. With the tight end, in the middle of the field, with the outside receiver. And it gets very, very frustrating. So how do you combat that? Now, one way that I have found out or figured out that will help. Now, I did go over and I started shake blitzing. I don't know if you guys know what this is, but it's when you sit there and you base a line, you press, uh, you show blitz, base a line, press, show blitz. And it kind of makes these it kind of makes your cornerbacks and your receivers act all crazy. Now, unfortunately, when that happens, you will end up, as you can see, the slot cornerback, he's kind of bouncing all over. And that's going to end up leading to one of those one of these receivers being wide open against you. And that's something that you don't want to do. So for those of you guys who still want to run this meta, this this cover zero meta, pinch your entire defense as soon as you come out. And before you do anything, take these cornerbacks, move them in and up a step. OK, so as soon as you come out of the huddle, let, let's just say we're coming out. Uh, let's just say we're coming out of the huddle immediately. Now, this is mainly for those of you guys who are running man coverage. So we come out of the huddle immediately out of our overstorm brave and we're expecting to send a blitz anyways you're gonna you're gonna press and you're gonna take these guys and move them out before before you can get quick hike then immediately my guys are moved out and up for a second okay that's all th this is all you need is out and up excuse me in and up you just click on him quickly and in and up and the reasoning for that is because we're immediately forcing that cornerback to not be burnt over the top 
and we're forcing that cornerback to art to immediately start with his hips turn to that receiver and it's going to be a lot diff a lot more difficult and as you can see we ended up getting the knockout it's going to be a lot more difficult for that person to complete one of his aggressive catches because the way that the ball works the way that the game works ea tart ea looks at him sort of like an open man once you move him inside it looks like he has a free release and with that with when that happens the cornerback is already kind of like he's already turning his hips almost immediately and he's turning his hips on towards the inside where they're going to go for the aggressive catch, which allows our cornerback to make a decent little play on the ball, even though we did get put in an animation where he would be aggressive catching us. Now, I will say this, that no, none of this is 100% guaranteed. It is Madden 23 and aggressive catches are still going to be very, very annoying. But as you can see, hold on, let me just showcase the replay on that real quick. As you can see, it takes a little bit once he turns his hips to actually recover from that and that is what good aggressive catchers are waiting for they're waiting for this right here this little animation that he's doing where he's turning his hips because once that happens you throw that ball with a quarterback with set feet lead and all of a sudden that guy's going to be able to go up for it without you being able to put your defender in an animation so by taking our taking our cornerback as soon as we come out of the huddle and moving him in and up he's art he's already he's his, he's already going to be focused on pretty much guarding that streak in the proper way. As you can see, he, there's no there's no crazy animation to him to him turning his hips. And again, like I like I mentioned, you are it, it is going to happen from time to time. This isn't the end all be all to aggressive catches. But again, we're trying to force him out of that out of throwing so quick because right now that animation you can't you don't notice that animation of of his hips turning because it's not really he's not really turning because he's he's already facing that that receiver unfortunately we did get aggressive caught but it, like i said it's madden it's gonna happen now there are there's another way obviously obviously we went through the man coverage and now we're gonna go through the deep zone ko now the deep zone ko th this is simply if you guys are running zone zone just make sure that that cornerback is backed up. That's all you need to do when it comes to this. Make sure that that cornerback is backed up. And oh, let me actually, let me actually just throw this out of the end zone real quick, just to try to get Mike Mike Evans out of his, out of his uh, double me. Is he out of it? He's not. Out of bounds? I hope it's out of bounds. But with zones it's the same exact situation the only thing is you you kind of have to have this guy backed up and the reason for that is because when you're playing zones it's going to be a situation where it's going to take a little bit longer for that guy to be forced to turn his hips now as you can see he didn't turn his hips until until mike evans was almost at the 10 yard line and that's because we had him backed up already von miller gets in with the pressure with his uh i believe he has edge threat and that's it as you can see this is this is a pretty decent this is a pretty decent route like this is a pretty decent stretch of him not turning his hips and then he finally turns his hips at around the 10 yard mark but because he's in zone it's going to be a little bit more difficult for that person to get the ball off especially if you're playing on all madden and you got you know zone abilities with you know d line abilities and stuff like that that's going to help anything come home a lot quicker so you're essentially when you're trying to run your cover zero blitz or your, or your cover one, you have to make sure that, you, that you're that you moving that guy inside and up. And then for this, you have to make sure that you're moving, just not making, you're just making sure that you're not pressing your outside cornerbacks. So the only aggressive catch that you potentially have to worry about where, you know, a good player is going to try to make that read is in the interior of the, of the defense. And, you know, from time to time we're going to be able to use that ourselves so it's not going to be too big of a hassle but obviously these outside guys that are just constantly destroying us just make sure you have deep out zone ko and then make sure that you are able to pretty much get home pretty much before this guy is all the way down the field and he just aggressive catches you because right now the meta is absolutely disgusting now i do want to go back to the man coverage just to kind of see if 
moving that guy towards the inside or the outside will help a little bit better uh because we did we did end off with a with an aggressive catch when it came to the man coverage now one thing that you guys can also do is the ball in air you could either put play receiver or swap ball play receiver will only work if you have one of these abilities because obviously they want to they want to get in a they want to get in an animation where they're knocking the ball out of the receiver's hands so i apologize for mentioning this so late but this is also a huge huge help when you're you know when you're not because you're not clicking on if you click on you're you're asking to get ag because you're not going to get an animation so you do not click on when you're running these abilities if you click on you're asking to get agged now again you play in air defense either swap ball or play receiver i like play receiver simply because i'm running these abilities that are simply going to be abilities to knock the ball out as soon as they touch that receiver the ball is going to be knocked out it doesn't matter what ability they have but the ball will be knocked out so last thing that i want to test out and i'm just going to sit there and take uh von miller and i'm going to take him out of his uh out of his uh ability so he's he's just gonna be in a spy i want to take this guy and move him out and up towards the outside and this might be this might even this might work even better who knows so this action uh, i don't know edmonds ends up screaming in so let's 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 look at the replay on that to see where our, how our guy kind of maneuvers our guy kind of maneuvers and he still has that big hip turn which means that they're going to be able to throw the ball right here and potentially aggressive catches so again if you guys want to slow this down as much as possible you are going to have to you are going to have to take your defense pinch them all and then immediately take these guys and move them in and up so you're going to take you're going to take your left stick you're going to take your left stick and pretty much aim it. If you're looking at a clock around three o'clock, as soon as you come out, you're going to click on this cornerback and then just aim it straight towards three o'clock. So even if they're running like a corner out or something like that, it might it, it might not hurt you too bad. But obviously, we're just fo we're just focusing on the aggressive catch simply not happening and us being able to get an animation where we're able to knock the ball out, as you just seen right there. This isn't the end all be all and i'm still on the fence i'm still on the side of uh hoping that they patch aggressive catches because it is to me it's one of the corniest metas i think we've ever had in madden uh this is worse in my opinion than the swerve this is worse than the stretch meta and i know people like to talk about you know people winning a tournament and with you know a punter at quarterback but that was when it was a defensive meta that's that's the reason why the 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 punter at quarterback was a meta is because it was a defensive meta where all cap was spent on defense so the only thing they had on offense was a running back so <laughs> that you know there was nothing that you could do about that and and now with this you can aggressive catch in every single game mode it doesn't matter whether it's salary cap mutt mutt drafts uh rags you can literally sit there and set an ag in every single game mode and that wasn't even an aggressive catch that was a throw out a sack and it's just so much stuff that benefits the offense right now and it's very very frustrating my name is pony montana if you guys appreciate this tip video on how to stop aggressive catches please leave a like for your boy subscribe if you guys are new and if you guys are struggling with anything leave it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to find something for all of you guys this was how to stop streaks and aggressive catches I'll see you guys in the next one, man. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.